Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Rainbow Six Siege video. In this video, we are going to be discussing Vigil, the defensive operator for the 707th SMB CTU. He can wield the K1A SMG and the BOSG-12 shotgun as his primary weapons. He can also wield the C75 auto machine pistol and the SMG-12 as his secondary weapons. In addition to these weapons, Vigil can also bring barbed wire and impact grenades into the siege as his secondary gadgets. Before we continue with the guide, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more amazing Rainbow Six Siege content. With that out of the way, let's begin. Let's start off with his primary weapons. The K1A SMG does above average damage, has a below average fire rate, and has an average magazine capacity of 30 rounds. The K1A also has the benefit of having very low and controllable recoil. You should have no problem handling this thing. And since it has higher damage, a slower rate of fire, and extremely low recoil, I recommend aiming for the head. Even if you don't get the headshot, the damage of the K1A should be enough to bring down targets without a problem. And since it's an SMG, I recommend spraying at close to medium ranges and tap firing at longer distances. Now let's talk about the BOSG-12, which I will call the Boss G since it's easier to say. And it's kind of difficult to talk about. Normally I like to compare the stats of a weapon to other weapons so that both casual and hardcore players can understand the effectiveness of a weapon compared to like other ones, but the Boss G is different. Instead of using normal shells, the Boss G uses slug rounds. These slug rounds basically act like sniper bullets. I'm serious. You can one shot chest shot people up to about 15 meters or so. If you're accurate, you will destroy people with this thing. It also is a double barrel shotgun, meaning you only get two shots before you have to reload. I will say the recoil is pretty strong if you try to fire both shots back to back, but if you space your shots out with about half a second in between, the recoil isn't too bad. Basically allow time for your reticule to center on where it was before, then you should be able to fire two shots in around the same area pretty quickly. I recommend aiming for the chest due to its one shot kill potential up to about 15 meters. After that, you know of course aim for the head or just try to land both your shots. I remember, just remember to space your shots out so that the recoil can center and you can just, you know, be accurate again. Other than that, just, you know, aim for the head, aim for the chest, and you should be good to go. For his secondary weapons, he has the choice between two automatics, the C75 and the SMG-12. Both have heavy recoil and massive spread, but each has their own benefits. The C75 does more damage, but is, can only be outfitted with a suppressor and is harder to control at range. The SMG-12 does less damage, but can be equipped with a sight, a grip, and a laser sight. It's also easier to use at range. So to me, I feel like the SMG-12 is a better option since you can improve its downsides, while you can't really do anything to improve the C75. I recommend going with a fully outfitted SMG-12 for your secondary weapon. As for his secondary gadgets, he can pick barbed wire or impact grenades. It's really just a matter of personal preference. Take the barbed wire if you want to slow attackers down and set up ambushes, but take the impact grenades if you'd like to roam and want to traverse the map more quickly and easily. Now let's get to the best part of a brand new operator, their special ability. Vigil can use his electronic rendering cloak, also called the ERC-7. When Vigil activates the ERC-7, his image is wiped from cameras and drones. To electronic devices, he is invisible. Basically, attacking drones and cameras hacked by Dokebi cannot see him, but there is one downside. If a drone or camera is looking at the area where Vigil is while his cloak is active, a UI effect that kind of looks like a bunch of white bars will appear at the bottom of the camera viewer's screen. This lets the attacker know that Vigil is near, but it doesn't show them his exact location. It's also important to note that his footsteps still make sound, and that he is not invisible to the human eye only to cameras and drones. Like even if his cloak is active and you know a normal person looks at him, they can see him, just not drones, not cameras. Also, a vigil interacts with the environment, say like reinforcing walls, deploying barbed wire, etc, fires his weapon, or even melees, his cloak will deactivate. After the cloak is deactivated, there will be a short cooldown timer before he can use his cloak again. Now that we know how his ability works, let's discuss some tactics. Since Vigil can become invisible to drones, it makes him excellent at destroying drones in the preparation phase. I suggest activating your cloak as soon as the round starts, then firing your weapon to deactivate your cloak and destroy some drones at the same time. Basically, just wait for drones to come into the objective room or for you to find drones while your clo cloak is active so they can't see you, and then just shoot them, and it it's as easy as that. And if you're Vigil, the enemy team will basically always know you've picked him. If a drone doesn't spot you, the UI effect at the bottom of their screen will just give you away. After the preparation phase, you can either roam or anchor. If you roam, I suggest using your cloak to safely move from the objective area to another area of the map, without drones being able to see you. 
Once there, use your remaining defender cameras to get a sense of where the enemies are coming from, if there's any left. Remember, Vigil is a 3 speed operator, so he can move quickly, but also remember that even with the cloak active, your footsteps still make sound, so you need to move quickly, but quietly. After finding the enemies, try to outflank them, and if you hear a drone moving at all, activate your cloak to ensure that the attackers can't drone you out and find where you are. If you're going to anchor, keep your cloak active while in the objective area, because the drones will come into the objective area and know you're there, but they won't know what corner you're in or where you're at in the room. If any drones come in after the preparation phase, destroy them without revealing your position. I also suggest using defender cameras to try to find out where the enemies are breaching from, because you know that's important. Another tactic that I like as an anchor, because I, I, I usually anchor, is to wait for the attackers to begin their breach. After the breach has begun, I'll use the speed of Vigil and his cloak to rush one of their flanks. You can usually catch a few of the attackers off guard, killing a few and diverting their attention to you. Basically, I'll flank, I'll kill as many as I can, the remaining people that are left in that breaching area will then flick their sights over to me and start trying to like kill me. This gives my team time to regroup or flank them as well and it also just runs down the objective clock. When enemies are focused on you and not the objective, either your team can attack them and kill them while they're distracted on you, or you can just let the timer run out and just win. Win the round by that. But yeah, those are some tactics that you guys can use. Let's get to the combos and the counters. First, we'll start off with the combos. Vigil's effectiveness largely depends on how the player uses his cloak. This means that Vigil can combo well with most defending operators. But if Vigil works well with a Mew and a Bandit, they can become a trio of drone destruction, ensuring the enemy team does not discover the objective. Or if Vigil and Caviera, they can both roam and become the roaming dynamic duo. Vigil cannot be seen by cameras and Caviera cannot be heard while silent stepping, making them a great combo for roaming and flanking. Now let's get to the counters. Vigil has a few main counters, which are Twitch, Thatcher, IQ, and Jackal. Twitch can use her shock drone to shoot Vigil. This will deactivate his cloak and disable it for a few seconds. The same thing goes for Thatcher if his EMP grenade hits a cloaked Vigil. IQ can use her electronic detector to find and detect Vigil, but only if his cloak is active. If Vigil's cloak is not active, then her electronics detector will not pick him up. And finally, we have Jackal. Vigil still leaves footprints, so Jackal can just scan his prints and track Vigil for the entire attacking team to see. This makes it extremely hard for Vigil to flank since the attackers know where he is. That's it for this Vigil Operator Guide! I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Do you like Vigil? Which of his weapons do you prefer? And did you enjoy this guide? I don't know, so let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more amazing Rainbow Six Siege content. I'm the Battle Moon, and I will see you in the next Siege.